Okay, this is going to be Make the Grade Podcast 6, Episode 6. Three, two, one. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Dr. Stephen Green, the success doctor. And we are the Make the Grade Podcast, bringing you actionable steps, things you can listen to this and immediately put into place actions, taking actions to help with your academics, your education, your test prep, all things goal setting in school and beyond. So the last few podcasts, four and five, if you were able to listen to them, uh, were about things to do. Four was 10 questions that you should ask before you hire a tutor or a tutoring company. Five was nine mistakes to avoid when planning an SAT or ACT prep program. Today, episode six, eight action steps you can do to maximize classroom learning and how to use them. And by the way, this, like many of the podcasts, is also available in a PDF form. It's also available in a video form. Just reach out if you want information on how to get to that. But it's all basically on the Make the Grade website. Okay, so let's get to it. Eight action steps to maximize classroom learning. Number one, probably, honestly, we could stop with number one, but we won't. Number one, be prepared. Be prepared. When you go into class, be ready. If it's an easy class, if it's a hard class, if it's the hardest class ever, if it's a boring class, exciting class, it doesn't matter. It is your responsibility as a student to be prepared. Do your homework, have it ready to turn in, make outlines ahead of time if that's what you need to do, read your assignments, but come to class ready to learn. If you have questions, write them down ahead of time so you can ask the teacher during the class. So number one, be prepared. Number two, Pay attention. Pay attention during class. It, it sounds so obvious, but it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to get bored. It's easy to be staring out the window. Just pay attention. Stay engaged. Actively take notes. And one of the podcasts down the road is going to be specifically on note-taking and active listening skills. But be engaged. Actively take notes. Actively listen. Learning information during class is, is the most efficient way to do it because it cuts down on your homework time and it cuts down on time you have to do it outside of class. So number two, pay attention. Number three, neatness counts. If you take notes but you can't read them, not really gonna help you too much. So make sure that your notes are legible, they're organized, maybe date them, maybe indent them like you're making an outline, but make sure you can read them because if they're not legible and you can't use them after the class, not really helping you that much. Also, make sure they're organized in a way that you can find them when you go to review. Number four, do your research ahead of time. Do your research ahead of time. You want to know what's going to happen in the class. If you missed the couple days before, you didn't understand what happened a few days before, it's going to be much more difficult to connect what's happening in the present class. So you want to be able to know what's coming, know what happened before, know how it's going to fit into the present lesson and be able to connect that to the future lesson as well. So number four, do your research. Number five, and this is a little trickier one to actually implement, but number five is know your learning style. How do you best learn? Are you a visual learner? Are you an auditory learner? Are you a kinesthetic learner? Do you learn by some combination? Do you have to see it? Do you have to hear it? Do you have to feel it or do it? Know that because if you're an auditory learner, but the class is entirely uh, things put up on a screen, that's not the best situation for you. So you need to sometimes adapt your in-class style to suit the teacher. Ideally, you don't have to, but sometimes you have to be aware of that. And you have to deal with it. So number five, know your learning style. Now the sister tip with this, number six, is know the teaching style. Know how the teacher is going to present the information. And it's the really exact same list. Are they visual? Are they auditory? Are they kinesthetic? And see how this compares with your learning style. 
this is really critical to get the most out of the class. There are exercises you could do, and please reach out if you want to learn what some of them are uh, to determine these things. Number seven, avoid distractions. Try to stay focused. It's hard to learn when you're not focused. And when you're in a classroom with 25, 30 other students and your peers, clearly it's easy to get distracted. But there's things that you can avoid doing. Try to get a good night's sleep. Try to pay attention. Try to be interested in what's going on in the class. Try to get the maximum value you can out of the time you spend in the class. And if people are trying to distract you, either ignore them or tell them to leave you alone. Sounds simple, but sometimes people give in to these things. So you got to avoid distractions, number seven. Number eight. And this is really an extension of number one, which is be prepared. Do your homework. Come into class ready. If you're prepared for class and you know what's going on ahead of time, it's so much easier and so much more effective to be able to get the most out of the class that day. And as a sidebar, if you do the homework, please hand it in. I can't tell you how many students of mine do their homework and then forget to hand it in or don't submit it if it's online. And, and unfortunately, it has a deleterious effect on their grade, which we don't want. So this is a quick one today. Eight action steps you can take to maximize classroom learning. And the theme really is be prepared. Number one, be prepared. Number two, pay attention. Number three, neatness counts and organization counts. Number four, do your research about what happened before present and what's going to happen next with this class. Number five is know your learning style and six, know your teacher's learning style. Number seven is to avoid distractions and eight, do your homework, which is really sort of like one B. As I mentioned, this set of tips is available by PDF format and video format. Please reach out if you want to find out how to access that, but they are typically on makethegrade.net or maximumeducation.net. You can also email me at sgreen, S-G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, at makethegrade.net, or, and or, seek me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, at makethegrade. Appreciate everybody's support, as always. The questions, the comments, the feedback is so valuable. And I encourage you to continue providing it, direct emails, whatever, uh, comments in the social media. It's, it's really helpful to me. And it also clarifies what the mission of the podcast is. Again, the Make the Great podcast to provide actionable information and actionable tasks that you can do to ensure the highest level of efficiency in your education or your child's education. So thank you very much. I look forward to the next lesson, another set of tips on an important topic. Thank you very much.